Hello everyone, this is me Debushmita Sharka. Today we are going to talk about CBAC class 9, Geography chapter 5, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So let's begin. Introduction. Natural vegetation refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by humans for a long time. This is termed as virgin vegetation. The term flora is used to denote plants of a particular region or period. The, speci the species of animals are referred to as fauna. This huge diversity in flora and fauna is due to the following factors. First is relief. So relief is land. Land affects natural vegetation directly and indirectly. The fertile level is generally devoted to agriculture. The undulating and rough terrains are areas where grassland and woodlands develop and give shelter to a variety of wildlife. And second is soil, uh, soil. Different types of soil provides a basis for different types of vegetation. The sandy soils of the desert support cactus and thorny bushes, while wet Martian deltic soil supports mangroves and deltic vegetation. The soil at the hill slopes has conical trees. Second is climate, temperature, the character and extent of vegetation are mainly determined by temperature along with humidity, humidity in the air, precipitation and soil. The fall in the temperature affects the vegetation and its growth. Photo period which is sunlight, the variation in the duration of sunlight at different places is due to different differences in latitude, altitude, season and duration. Of the day due to the longer duration of sunlight trees grow faster in summer precipitation areas of heavy rainfall have more dense vegetation as compared to areas of less rainfall types of vegetation in india the following major types of vegetation are found first is tropical evergreen forest second is tropical deciduous forest third is mountain forest fourth is mangrove forest. Let's study them in detail. Tropical evergreen forest. These forests are present in the western Ghats and the island group of Lakshwadeep, Andaman and Nicobar, upper part of Assam and Tamil Nadu coast. These forests grow best in areas having rainfall more than 200 cm with a short dry season. The trees reach great heights up to 60 meters or even above. It has the vegetation of all kinds that is trees, shrubs and creepers giving it a multi-layered structure. This forest appear green all the year around. Important trees of this forest are ebony, mahogany, rosewood, rubber and chinchona. The common animals found in this forest are elephant, mon uh, monkey, lemur and deer. Tropical deciduous forest. These forests are also called monsoon forest. They are spread over the region having rainfall be between 200 centimeter to 70 centimeter. They shade their leaves about six to eight weeks in the dry summer. In this forest, the common animals found are lion, tiger, pig, deer and elephant. These forests are further divided into most moist deciduous forests which are found in areas having rainfall between 200 to 100 centimeter. Teak is the most dominant species of this forest. Bamboo, sal, sesham, sandalwood, scare, kusum, arjun and mulberry are other commercially important species. Dry deciduous are found in areas having rainfall between 100 cm to 70 cm. There are open stretches in which teak, sal, people and neem grow. The thorn forest and scrubs. The natural vegetation consists of thorny trees and bushes. This type of vegetation is found in the northwestern part of the country, including semi arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, and Haryana. Trees are scattered and have long roots penetrating deep into the soil to get moisture. The stems are moist to conserve water. Leaves are mostly thick and small to minimize evaporation. Acacia, palm, euphorbia, and cacti are the main plant uh, species. Common animals are rat, mice, rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger, lion, wild donkey, horses and camels.
mountain forest mountain forests are the forest which are found in the mountains the wet temperate type of forest are found between a height of 1000 to 2000 meter at high altitudes generally more than uh, 3600 meters above the sea level temperate forests and grasslands give way to the alpine vegetation alpine grasslands are used for grazing at higher altitudes mosses and lichens form part of tundra vegetation the common animals found are kashmi stag uh, spotted deer wild sheep jack rabbit uh, tibetan antelope yak snow leopards squirrels uh, shaggy horns uh, wild uh, ibis uh, bear and red red panda uh, sheep and goats mangrove forest mangrove forest are trees that mangroves are trees that live along tropical coastlines rooted in salty sediments often underwater. The mangrove tidal forests are found in the areas of coast influenced by tides. Mud and silt get accumulated on such coast. Dense mangroves are the common varieties with roots of the plants submerged underwater. Sundari trees are found in Ganga Brahmaputra Delta and provide hard timber. Royal Bengal tiger is a famous tiger. Royal Bengal tiger is a famous animal in this forest. Wildlife. India is rich in its fauna. Elephants are found in the hot wet forest of Assam, Karnataka and Kerala. One horned rhinoceros are found in Assam and West Bengal. Ran of Kutch is the habitat for wild donkeys whereas the Thar Desert is the habitat for camels. The natural habitat of the Indian lion is the Gir forest in Gujarat. Tigers are found in the forest of Madhya Pradesh, the Sundarbans of West Bengal and the Himalayan region. Ladakh's freezing high altitudes are home to yak, the shaggy horn, wild ox, the Tibetan antelope, the bharal means the blue sheep, wild sheep and the kyang means the Tibetan wild donkey. In the rivers, lakes and coastal areas, turtles, uh, crocodiles and gharials are found. Peacocks, pigeons, ducks, parakeets, uh, cranes are uh, pigeons are some of the birds inhabiting this forest and wetlands of the country. Cause of major threat to flora and fauna. Every species has an important role in the ecosystem. Hence, conservation of flora and fauna is essential. About 1300 plant species are endangered and 20 species are extinct. The main causes of this major threat to nature are hunting for commercial purposes, pollution due to chemical and industrial waste, rapidly cutting of the forest for cultivation and habitation. Government initiative to protect flora and fauna. The government has taken many steps to protect the flora and fauna of our country. 18 biosphere reserve has been set up in India to protect flora and fauna. 10 out of these have been included in the world network of biosphere reserves. Financial and technical assistance has been provided to many botanical gardens by the government since 1992. Project Tiger, Project Rhino, Project uh, Great Indian Bustard and many others eco developmental projects have been introduced by the government 103 national parks and the 535 wildlife sanctuaries and zoological gardens are set up to take care of natural heritage so with this we came to the end thank you please do and like share subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment in the comment section below bye bye stay home and stay safe wildlife is a uh, priceless treasure Save it with pleasure and plant a tree, plant a tree so that the next generation can get air for free. Thank you.